Hola, ¿qué tal? Espero que bien. I hope you're all well. Really looking forward to seeing you all back next week so we can really get stuck into all the Spanish you've been learning without me. Now, let's begin. We're going to start with our second lesson on television. We'll have a little bit of a recap of last week's lesson, all the words you've learned, uh, some of the grammar points, very important. And then we're going to look at some opinions and read what Mr. Bell thinks about TV. Okay, let's get started. Hola la clase. ¿Cómo estáis? Muy bien, gracias. Vamos a empezar. So, today we're going to be talking again about television. Um, and films will come soon. So, la televisión. Oh, I didn't hear you. One more time. La televisión. Muy bien. So, last week we learned all of these programs we're going to do in my turn your turn this is also attached to the home learning page if you haven't got it so we're starting here and this one is we put it on excuse me let's start again with that one it's los documentales oh you have to be louder than that let's try again los documentales Bien. los concursos Los dibujos animados. Las telenovelas. Las series. El telediario. El tiempo. Los programas musicales. Los programas deportivos. Los realities. Los anuncios. Beautiful pronunciation. Well done. Okay. Revisión. Te toca. You need to match the English to the Spanish. This is your task now. As you can see, down this side, you have all the Spanish. Down this side, you have the English. Again, this will be attached to your home learning page. Um, if you haven't got a printer, that's okay. You can always write it out and match it up. If you print it out, you could always draw lines, matching them up. This up to you how you do it. It's your hacer ahora, your do now. Pause your video and do your do now, now. Excellent. Welcome back. Let's check our answers. Here we go. El telediario is the news. El tiempo is the weather. Las telenovelas are your soaps. Los documentales are your documentaries. Los concursos are your game shows. Los dibujos animados are your animated drawings or cartoons. Los anuncios, adverts. Los programas deportivos are your sports programs. Los programas musicales, music. Los realities, reality TV shows. And la serie is series. As you can see, here and here, we've actually just taken your English words, brought them over, and said them a bit with a Spanish accent. So when you say reality TV, we say realities. When you say series, we say series. Okay, well done. Let's move on. Give yourselves a fantastico. Muy bien. Oh, otra revisión. Last week we touched upon some very important grammar points and now it's time to revise. We'll do this one together. So, we looked at our sentence starters and we realize that me encanta is a singular verb and it must go with a singular noun, el tiempo. Then we realize when we have a plural noun such as los anuncios, me encanta becomes a plural verb and it changes to me encantan. And the same was true of me gusta, became me gustan. And also no me gusta, became no me gustan. However, Odio and the testo never changed. Even if you have a plural or singular noun with them, odio and the testo 
never change. And my question last week is why do you think they do not change? Who can remind me now why they do not change? What is it they don't have? Tell me now. That's right, they don't have me. So these stay singular, these verbs of odio and desto. Well done. Now last week, you put all of that into structure. You said to me, Mr. Bell, we use me, canta, me gusta, no me gusta, de texto, no you're with. And down here, we filled those in. So let's remind ourselves. I'm going to ask you to pause your video for a minute. You've got all these words. Do you remember where you're going to put these words? Let's do the first one together. We use me encanta, me gusta, no me gusta, de texto, and odio with. Well, I know that we use those with singular nouns. What are those singular nouns such as el telediario or el tiempo? And then I gave an example. I could write my example here. I'll do it a little bit smaller than that because that will take up the whole page. Let's put that here. I can say me encanta. Telediario, singular verb, singular noun. Excellent. Now, number two and number three are still empty. It's your turn to revise last week's work. There are the words you need. Where do they go? I'm going to pause your video and try and complete that now. Okay, welcome back. Let's have a look. We use me encantan. Me gustan, no me gustan, the test on audio with, well, definitely plural nouns. What are my examples? Los dibujos. Remember, you can't say los dibujos. You don't need to say los dibujos animados. And las series. Excellent. Don't need an example, we'll move to number three. But the test on audio always say the same because they do not have me. That was last week's grammar task. Good to remind yourselves of that. Okay, one more fantastic got. Good, let's move on. Aha, there's a new question in town. It says here, ¿Qué tipo de programa prefieres? And that means, which types of programs do you like or do you prefer? You can see quite a lot of similarities that's why I've just put it for you in English. I don't think you need me to tell you that tipo is types, programas is programs, and prefieres is your preference of what you like or what you prefer. So I've answered this question right here. Me encanta las telenovelas. And here's one question for you. Are you happy with my response? Have a little think. Read it again. Me encanta las telenovelas. If you're happy, that's okay. If you're not happy, that's also okay. But you're going to have to tell me why. Okay. Hands up if you're not happy. Good. I'm glad you put your hand up. I hope you put your hand up because we did this work last week and we've just revised it. Me encanta las telenovelas. I'm not happy with this response. Who can tell me why? Okay, good. So, las telenovelas is clearly plural. It's a plural noun. Mm -hmm. It's the soaps, not the soap, or the soap operas, not the soap opera. Mm -hmm. And our problem is here. Our verb is still singular. It shouldn't be. What should our verb be? It should be plural. Excellent. Well done. So this should read, oops, excuse me, me encantan, en on the A, las telenovelas, because then we have a plural verb and a plural noun. Excellent. Well done. So 
Let's have a little practice of that. Our question says the same. ¿Qué tipo de programas prefieres? Well, I've already said, me encantan las telenovelas. I love soaps. So, the same would also happen with all of these two verbs. Me gusta, in its plural, becomes me gustan. I like. Doesn't change in English. No me gusta becomes no me gustan. I don't like. But do remember, odio stays the same. It doesn't change. Or detesto stays the same. Okay, time for a practice. Speaking, te toca. Finish the sentence. ¿Qué tipo de programa prefieres? Well, here are our sentence starters. And here are our TV programs. So, if I was to say el telediario, and you wanted to say, I like el telediario, the news, what would you say? Would you say, me gusta el telediario? Or would you say, me gustan el telediario? Think about it one more time. What would you say? Me gusta el telediario? Or me gustan el telediario? Tell me what you would say. Good, well done. You would say, me gusta el telediario. The reason, as we've already said, is el telediario is a singular noun. And me gusta is a singular verb. Single and single match together. Now, what about if I said to you, los documentales, and you wanted to say, I like Los documentales, documentaries, what would you say? Would you say, me gusta los documentales? Or would you say, me gustan los documentales? Tell me what you would say. Excellent. You would definitely say, me gustan los documentales. Los documentales is a plural noun. Me gustan is a plural verb, plural and plural go together. Single and plural, don't go together. Single and singular, go together. Plural and plural, go together. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to have a little practice of this now. Mr. Bell is going to choose a program. And I'm just going to say to you, te gusta, plus the program, and then you're going to answer using either me encanta, me encantan, me gusta, me gusta, no me gusta, no me gustan, or simply odio. Okay. Here we go. My first question is, excuse me, uy, perdón. Um, ¿Te gusta el tiempo? ¿Te gusta el tiempo? Good. You can actually hear the clue in the question, can't you? I can't say to you, ¿te gustan el tiempo? Because again, Gusta is a verb and it's going to be singular or plural. So if you listen to my question, it actually gives you the clue on how you're going to answer. If you hear gusta, well, you're going to stay singular. If you hear gustan, you know it's plural. So there's a dead giveaway. Here we go. Next question. Te gustan los dibujos animados. Well done. You got it now. Next question. ¿Te gusta el telediario? Yep, you've got it. One more question. ¿Te gustan los realities? Excellent. If you listen to the question, you're going to know how to answer. One more practice. Here we go. ¿Te gustan los concursos? Estoy de acuerdo. I agree. Well done. Give yourselves a massive, fantastic go. Okay, we're going to move on. The question stays the same. ¿Qué tipo de programa prefieres? What types of programs do you prefer or do you like? Well, here's one of my answers. Me encantan las telenovelas. I love soaps. Or I 
Cruz, ¿sí? me encantan las telenovelas porque son fantásticas. Question. Which response is better? Number one, up here. Or number two, down here? Tell me now. Of course it is. Number two is much better. Why is it better, please? That's right, because it explains why you love soaps. If you just say, me encantan las telenovelas, that's great Spanish. But I'd probably say to you, ¿por qué? Why? And then you're going to have to waste more energy explaining why. Don't waste your time, just do it all in one. Me encantan las telenovelas porque son fantásticas. Excellent. Now, adjetivos de preferencia. Here are some newer adjectives that we're going to be using today. Again, these are on your home learning page. If you've got a printer, you can print them off. If not, my advice to you is maybe pause the video now and copy them out. Here is the Spanish on the left, and as you can see down here is your English. Now, I have a question. It says, buenas, buenos, malas, malos, aburridas, aburridos, mm? interesante, stays the same, tontas, tontos, fantásticas, fantásticos, graciosas, graciosos, Divertidas, divertidos, and excelentes doesn't change. Why are some of them double? Why, for example, let's go with fantastica. Fantasticas, fantasticos. Why do you think that this adjective has two forms? Fantasticas, fantasticos. What do you think the reason is? Well done if you've remembered why. We did talk about this quite a long time ago, so it would be a tricky thing to remember. Let's just go back to this example here. Now, if you look at my second response, the one that we said is much, much better because it explains. Let's have a little deeper look. It says, me encantan las telenovelas. Now, when I look at las telenovelas, I can see, yes, it's a plural noun, but it's not just plural, is it? It's also feminine plural, las telenovelas. This adjective here, fantasticas, is matching the feminine noun. In Spanish, if certain adjectives are by, that means they can either be masculine or feminine, then you must change them to match what you're talking about. Las telenovelas is feminine. So fantasticas is our adjective. Now, the good thing is some adjectives like interesantes and excelentes don't change. So it really doesn't matter. But this list tells you when as Feminine, buenos, masculine, malas, feminine, malos, masculine, etc., etc. When you come back to school next week, we're going to talk about this a lot more. I just wanted you to know for now, because I know you've noticed that, and you're probably thinking, hold on, Mr. Bell, what's going on there? So I thought it'd be good to talk about it. Now, there, toca, it's your turn. It's a comprehension, comprensión, to comprehend, to understand. You're going to read and answer some questions. This is your final task for today. So, somebody said to me, ¿Qué tipo de programa prefieres? And here is my answer. I'm going to read it to you first, and then I'll give you your questions. I'll start right here. I'm going to change my color so you can follow me. Pues... Me gustan muchas programas de televisión. ¿Por qué me gusta la televisión? Pero, bueno, mis programas favoritas son los dibujos animados y las telenovelas. Porque son tontas y graciosas. Los programas que también 
me gustan son los documentales y los concursos porque son interesantes y educativos. Ahora, los programas que más detesto son los realities y los anuncios. ¡Ah! Son súper aburridos y tienes que ser loco o loca si te gustan. Ok, if you want to hear me read that again, just rewind the video and you can hear it. It's your turn now, though. Here is my response. Here are my six questions. Number one, do I like television? Number two, which are my favorite TV programs? Number three, why do I love cartoons? Number four, what's my opinion on documentaries? Number five, what's my opinion on reality TV programs? And number six, what do I think about people who like reality TV? It's time to answer those six questions. You'll probably need to reread my opinion. Look for the answers, track down that information and write your responses. You can write your responses in English, that's absolutely fine. It's time to pause your video, do the task. When you've finished, unpause the video and we will look at the answers together. It's time to pause your video now. Okay, hopefully you've done the six questions. If you haven't, do pause your video and get on with them and then unpause and we'll start to check with Senor Bell. So let's have a little check. Number one says, do I like television? Well, let me read. It says, pues, well, me gustan muchas programas de televisión. I like lots of television programs. ¿Por qué? Me gusta la televisión. So, there's my answer. ¿Por qué me gusta la televisión? Do I like television? Yes, I do like television. It says here, well, I like lots of television programs because I like television. So, number one, yes, I do like television. Let's have a look at number two. Which are my favorite TV programs? Okay, pero, but. Bueno, well, mis programas favoritas. Now, there's an alarm bell in my head. Favorite, favoritas. That sounds enough for me to go, oh, there could be some important information. Mis programas favoritas son los dibujos animados y las telenovelas. Porque son tontas y graciosas. Which are my favorite TV programs? Well... There's one of them right there, Los Dibujos Animados, cartoons. And there's the other one right there, Las Telenovelas, soap operas. So, which are my favorite TV programs, cartoons, and soap operas? Number three, why do I love cartoons? Well, there's cartoons. Now I need to find the reason. The reason will always come after. Let's have a look. Porque son tontas y graciosas. Here's the two adjectives, tontas y graciosas, that are giving me the reason I love cartoons. I love cartoons because they are silly and funny. Excellent. Number four, what's my opinion on documentaries? What do I think? Let's have a look. Los programas que también me gustan The programs I also like son los documentales y los concursos are the documentaries and game shows. Now, the question says, what's my opinion on them? Okay, I like them, but that's not the question. What's the reason? Let's continue reading. Porque son interesantes y educativos. There's my reason. These two adjectives, interesantes, Educativos. They are interesting and educational. What's my opinion on documentaries? Well, I like them because they're interesting and educational. What's my opinion on reality TV programs? Ahora, 
Now, los programas que más detesto, the programs I most detest, son, are, los realities y los anuncios, reality TV and adverts. Ah, son super aburridas. They're super boring. But that's not the question. The question is, what do I think about people who like? Oh, no, sorry. We're on number five. What's my opinion on reality TV? Well, there it is. Excuse me. Son super aburridas. They are super boring. Number six, excuse me. What do I think about people who like reality TV? Well, here is that bit. Y tienes que ser loco o loca si te gustan. And you must be crazy if you like them. What's my opinion about people who like reality TV? You gotta be crazy to like them. Okay, time to give yourselves a massive fantastic go. Excellent, well done. Now, as I said, when we come back from um, our home learning experience and back to school, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've learned and putting it back into practice. Looking forward to seeing your work as always on Seesaw. Time to say adios. Adios. Ciao.